Hi guys, welcome back to Flora Fun and Food. My name is Lauren and today we're gonna be showing you how to make my mom's famous homemade dinner rolls. These are the best rolls you will ever make, so I hope you give it a try. They're pretty easy. Just follow the steps that my mom's about to give you. Okay, we're gonna make my homemade rolls today. I always make a double batch. So I've got a half a stick of butter for a double batch, two cups of water, lukewarm water and my aunt gave me this recipe which I've modified a bit but I always just dump everything in and do the yeast last and it always works so we've got two eggs got nice fresh farm grown eggs for this today and then we like our rolls sweet, so I put a half a cup of sugar for each batch. I always use a whole cup for a double batch. I start mixing that up a little bit before I put the flour in. Okay, and I'm gonna put a total of seven cups of flour, and I like to use bread flour if you can find it. Sometimes it's a little hard to find. Um, but I use seven cups, and if you do a single batch, it's like three and a quarter or three and a half cups. I'm going to slowly start adding that. What's the difference between bread flour and all-purpose flour? I mean, it has more gluten in it and will make your bread better because it's got more gluten, but the all-purpose works fine, too. There's two. I have to count myself or I lose track. And seven. And I always put the yeast last. You can always proof it ahead of time if you want to, but when I put four kind of big teaspoons full in. I'm gonna get this mixed up and then we're gonna put the dough hook on and knead it. Alright, I think it's time to put the dough hook on. I'm gonna have to scrape this off. I forgot the salt, so we're going to put it in now. It's two teaspoons of salt. Okay, we're going to start kneading it with the dough. We need, to, we need to put a little flour in so it starts balling up and forming the ball in the mixer. Just kind of got to eye that. Sorry about the squeaking. Bruno is in here and playing with his tennis ball. The more you need the dough, the more gluten it will form and make better bread. I want it to get all the dough off the sides of the bowl, so it's pretty close. Okay, I'm gonna stop it now. I like to finish it off by hand kneading it, but you wouldn't necessarily have to do that. Okay, I'm going to take it out of the, the bowl. It's still a little sticky, so I'm going to hand knead it a little bit here on the counter. You can keep doing it with the mixer, but I kind of like to do it by hand. And you'll need to throw some flour on, on your surface. Okay, I'm just going to start kneading it, and you just kind of fold it into itself and, and push with your palms of your hand. And just really get everything mixed together good. This is working the dough and building the gluten again. This will make about 24 rolls. I make two pans and two 9 by 13 pans, and I put 12 in each pan. And you just really work it until it feels smooth and you get a nice ball. You can kind of form it into a, a nice ball. 
And then I'm just gonna use the same pan and spray it. You can use olive oil or butter, whatever you like. Put it in a pan. We're gonna cover it and let it rise for a couple hours. Okay, so the, the way I usually make my homemade rolls is with my bread dough maker. I start the dough in the bread dough machine. I it, let it mix, I let it um, rise the first time in it, and then I take it out of the bread dough maker and make it into rolls, put it in the pan, and let it rise the second time. So I've already got one in here this morning that I'm gonna, it's done, it's already risen the first time. If you let it sit in there longer than normal, it will get really big. Um, I use, I make a, a double batch in here. It really should just be a single batch in here, but I take it out and, and then divide it up before it's like all over the whole machine. Anyway, this is, this is the dough that has been mixed all in the machine and risen the first time. Now we're gonna make it into rolls. Okay, so I'm getting ready to make the rolls out of the dough that I've uh, made and risen in the bread dough machine. I put a little flour on my surface because it will stick a little bit. And I just dump it out. All right, so um, I'm spraying my pans with Cam. And then sometimes I just spray my hands to be able to cut this and make it into rolls. So I'm gonna divide it into half. So each one of these will make 12 rolls. And then I start dividing this into my 12 little balls. Each one of these will make three. Okay, so I'm gonna start making the rolls. I just take one of these pieces and I start, I kinda of take it and I push in with the fingers, turn it, push in, turn it, push in and bring it all to the bottom every time. And it makes a nice little round uh, ball. And then I just start putting those in the pan. And again, I put 12 in a pan, nine by 13 pan. So I'm just working it into a little round ball. And if you, one of them doesn't have enough, I kind of take some from another. And I just keep doing that until I get all 24 rolls made. Okay, we almost have all 12 done. And then you can cover this with saran wrap or a tea towel. and let it rise the second time, and then you're ready to bake. Okay, we're gonna make the same recipe for my homemade rolls in my bread dough machine. I've already made a batch this morning, so I didn't clean it out, I'm just gonna use it again to make a second batch. So I just start with two cups of water, warm water, half a stick of butter, two eggs, of salt, and I put seven cups of flat flour. Again, you can use bread flour, which I prefer, but I've had a hard time finding it since the pandemic. There's two, seven. Then I put four teaspoons of yeast on top, that out. And then this bread dough machine is really only set up for one batch, but I do two batches and I kind of trick it. So I stir it a little bit because I've got it really full. If I don't stir it, the machine kind of struggles. So really one, one batch of this is really what this machine is supposed to do, but I like to make two batches so that I have more rolls and it works just fine if I stir it up a little bit before I start it. The machine typically does all this stirring for you, but again, I'm putting more in it than it really is supposed to have. And the machine will stir it and let it rise the first time. And then again, I'll take it out and make my rolls and let them rise a second time in the pan and then bake them off. Now I'm gonna put it in 
my machine. All right, I forgot to put the sugar in as we were filming, so I'm just going to add a cup of sugar. And it will mix up. I'm going to set the machine to dough. So I'm going to select the course up here to where it says dough. This is a Zo Jerushi machine. I love these machines. This is the second one I've had. It works really good. It's kind of expensive, but it works really nice. So, okay. so I've got it set on the dough setting, and then I just say start, and it's going to heat up this this um, area, start stirring it, and then let it rise in the machine the first time, and then we'll, again we'll take it out and make rolls. It takes about an hour and a half. I do not use the preheat setting. There's a setting on this machine that will actually kind of preheat it, all the ingredients. I don't use that because it takes way too long and it works just fine without it. So I have that turned off. I just let it do the mixing and the first rise in the machine. I don't do that preheating step. So um, you can see rest off on the machine. It's, I, it, that is turned off so it doesn't heat up all the ingredients first. It just takes too long for me. All right, this is set. We're gonna let it go and then we'll be ready to make rolls in a little while. Here is the dough about an hour and a half after we mixed it in the mixer and you can see it has at least doubled in size. You can see these have risen versus these that have not. These are freshly rolled out just now and these have been rising for about an hour and a half. Okay, we, the rolls have risen. They've been rising for a couple hours. They're ready to go in the oven. I use a convection oven and it's 350 degrees in about 12 to 15 minutes. And about halfway I look and if they're getting too brown I put um, aluminum foil on top of them so they don't get too brown. Okay, they're getting too brown so I'm putting foil on top of them and I'm going to cook them a little longer. Alright, I check it to be about 180. 190 and I usually take it out about 180, only about 160 right now. Alright, they're about 180, so I'm going to take them out. They're a little bit browner than I normally get them, but they'll be good. And here is the final product. We went from that to that and they are so good. You'll just have to try them for yourself because they're going to be the best dinner rolls you've ever had. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you give this recipe a try. You will never go back to store-bought rolls if you do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and I hope to see you guys very soon. Thanks guys. Bye.